iOS 9.3.2 has arrived for your iPhone SE from 9.3.1. Should you stay put on this operating system or should you update? Well, that's what we're going to find out right here in this video. This is Nick here. Let's get into this video right now and let's go. So hopping right into settings of the iPhone SE, you're going to see this is a 90.5 megabyte update and you can see this does fix an issue with some Bluetooth accessories, some dictionaries and some typing emails as well as some voiceover issues. So it's nothing huge here but every time there is an iOS 9 point whatever update, we want to see how the device performs because Apple does fix some other bugs in there as well and this could improve the overall experience of your iOS device. So we're going to wait for this to update and see how long this takes and uh, we'll be back in a second. So getting into the update processes, this is how the update process really goes in the real world. Now I did speed up the process because this does take about 10 minutes in the real world. So if you want to do something for 10 minutes, go put your iPhone SE off to the side for 9.3.2. You might want to do that and it should be updated relatively quickly. But we are now in, like I say, a minor update. So we are in iOS 9.3.2. Let's go into settings and confirm that we are running that version. Let's go to the about section, scroll down version 9.3.2 13f69 and basically it does fix this bluetooth issue that mostly people were having with accessories and that was the major fix although they did include some bug fixes as well and we're going to show you how the performance is on the iphone se with 9.3.2 here just if you were wondering if this slows your phone down and it doesn't so let's go into calculator let's go into settings let's come back out let's go into calculator let's come back out Let's go into, let's see, weather. Let's come back out. Let's go into notes. Let's come back out here. And uh, oops, I accidentally hit the notification tray. Let's go into calendar. Let's go through the general UI. And you can see things just fly right on through. Let's go in the browser and uh, let's close out these tabs. Let's go into apple.com since it's relevant for this video. So you can see the speed enhancements are just fine here on the iPhone SE for 9.3.2. And going through multitasking, no issues here. You can see actually it probably got a bit more smooth than it was on 9.3.1 so this is probably the best update so i pretty much is going to wrap this video up i didn't want to make this video too long on the iphone se but i know some people out there just are reluctant to do updates and that's why i made this short quick video um you're not gonna have any issues here with 9.3.2 so go ahead and do this update if you guys were wondering about it go ahead and click the like button for me if you enjoyed this video and i will catch you all in the next episode be sure to be well and peace